So I wanted to quickly go over what my league starter is going to be uh, for Blight 3.8. Basically we're looking, our, our main focus is going to be a Herald of Agony crawler build. Taking the Necromancer and using Power Siphon uh, to generate the charges because Power Siphon is really good about hitting a wide pack of uh, enemies. Uh, especially with some chain, you can hit um, 10 at a time, so every single cast will generate 10 poison stacks, which is quite good, uh, especially with its cover and how fast it is. It makes for a really quick build um, when it comes to clear. We're also going to be running zombies, skeletons, um, and I've got to add it in here, but we're going to be running the um, bone golem and uh, specters. So we're going to have a full minion army, but the main damage focus is coming from our Herald of Agony, which if you can see here has estimated tooltip of 3 million DPS, and that's basically with no gear. The only thing we've really done is some basic um, minion attack speed, kind of minion jewels and life jewels so nothing crazy here and then no flask <laughs> activated no just the one ring here which we're really just focusing on the mana reduction because uh, the buff effect is not going to have much of a an issue to us and you know i've just put a tablet here for a plus one to socket of gems uh, which really helps the um, minion damage the one thing we don't have marked um, is the new wands. We'll be using the new wands that have the plus one to minion skills, which affects everything. So everything will have another plus two. So this is actually going to creep up probably closer to 3.3 million DPS, 3.4 million DPS. So for our skills, let's just cover them real quick. Basically, we're going to have a Hatred, a Spirit Offering, uh, Projectile Weakness, and Generosity. That way our minions get the Hatred buff. The Projectile Weakness, um, which we'll get into a little bit, um, we'll probably run um, boots that have um, uh, I'm trying to remember, Wind Screams uh, or Wind Shriekers. Uh, that way we can do two curses. Our main skill will be Val Power Siphon with Poison, Lesser, Poison, and Chain. If we're running this, we get added chaos damage, which means we don't necessarily have to run Lesser Poison. I just like it because you get 40% and 60, so every one of your hits always poisons. Um, you have to have some kind of poison damage. It has to at least have one point of poison damage to apply poison, which is why you got to run Lesser Poison early. Um, until you get poison on your gear or um, some other form of chaos damage, I should say. And that way you can actually generate a poison stack. Because even if you have poison but zero chaos damage, it's not going to generate a stack. So um, then you can use chain, pierce, or fork, whichever way you prefer. You just need some way to get your power siphon to hit everything in a pack. Because if you just aim, shoot to the front, it'll hit the first five things it hits, and then nothing behind that pack takes a poison stack. We need everything in that entire pack to basically take poison stacks so that we get our crawler stacks and keep them up. Uh, we'll run Race Spectre in our helmet. Uh, that way we can push Spectre limits higher with the uh, kind of bone helmet options. I know they tweaked and changed those a bit, um, but just in general we want to push them. Just for this moment I've selected just Solar Guards for damage. You can see we have 100,000 some damage uh, with our Solar Guards times 2 so $200,000 or 200,000 DPS out of our Solar Guards. And like I said, I just kind of roughed those in. Um, we'll get to more damage and focus later. Don't even have quality added on these gems. Uh, just kind of uh, theory building and this is how high it got and I'm like <laughs> feels like the way I want to play this league um, but race Spectre and then depending on whatever Spectre we pick 
three accompanying. Uh, raised zombie. So this is going in our weapon. And our weapon is going to be syndicate crafted with the um, trigger a psychoted skill on, or yes, trigger psychoded skill on skill use. So every time we attack with um, power siphon, it's going to trigger raise zombie, then it'll trigger desecrate, and then shock nova. We're using that to keep shock going. Um, which surprisingly will actually, it helps a bit. Um, it's not a huge amount of shock, but it's enough to keep things pretty well shocked. Um, then we'll have Val Summon Skeletons, help with bosses mainly. Um, Poacher's Mark, which is our bread and butter because it allows our minions to get frenzy charges. Um, because we won't actually be able to kill anything, but our minions will. And because they're cursed, they gain the frenzy charge. So this keeps our crawler and all of our minions with three stacks of frenzy charges at all times. This is the one we run until we get plus one to curses that we can then run with um, projectile weakness. And then once again I do ice nova. Now shock and ice nova will kind of depend. I use those to chill and freeze basic or shock. Or if there's something else I might swap for more automated um, I might do a corpse explosion, I might do body swap, since body swap seems kind of unique this time, um, with their changes to it, see how that kind of plays out. So, it's kind of a free slot to add a utility skill, um, whatever you want that utility skill to be. Hero to Agony, we're running Vicious Projectiles, damage on full life. Um, for you guys that don't know, Herald of Agony can't be attacked. The crawler is always full life. It's non-targetable. It doesn't take OA damage. It's always full of life. Uh, Empower, Hypothermia, which is where if we have the chill, if we're not chilling with the Ice Nova, then swap Hypothermia out for, I think, yeah, Added Chaos probably. Uh, actually, let's just go down and find out real quick here. Um, slower projectiles is fine. You can also run MAME. MAME's pretty good as well. Um, don't really need Pierce because our damage, especially from our tail spike and things, really just, it, no good. So, slower projectiles or MAME would work well. Um, and it's not much damage difference if we picked slower projectiles because we're afraid we're not going to chill. So. Um. Now, I'm a little worried that Power Siphon won't hold. I've ran this build like three leagues ago, four leagues ago, and I had no problem keeping my Agony stacks up. Um, except for when you get into a, a scenario where you have phasing or shifting mobs and there's nothing like sometimes during the waves uh, and delve, they take so long that you're dropping a whole bunch of stacks. You still keep enough stacks. The minions or the agony crawler still wipes everything out, but you don't get um, 40 stacks to where everything just instantly dies. However, you can run storm brand, poison, lesser poison, and brand recall. <clears throat> and I've tested this, and uh, it'll apply the poisons. Uh, so basically, you just drop a storm brand down. It starts arcing through everything. And it'll f hit a pack instantly and basically pull you up to like from zero to 30 stacks and per pack just instantly. So I might run with Stormbrand instead of Power Siphon. Uh, depends on how the, the mana components play out and how I feel. It felt smooth with Stormbrand and Brand Recall, basically run up. Uh, and actually I'm thinking body swap up to a pack. <clears throat> brand recall, body swap to a pack, brand recall, keep repeating. Um, Why everything else is going on and firing off. So, a whole bunch of options. Um, here you can either run the power siphon or um, storm brand. The thing with the power siphon is you get the uh, three power charges for free which gives you the ability so that your shocks and chills are more effective. 
uh, or that you're at least chilling, which makes hyperthermia stronger, so you keep your damage up here. So let's cover the tree real quick, since we kind of covered gear. Gear-wise, like I said, these will be two of the new wands, and then basically as much life and resist that we want to, and minion damage that we can find. We're not caring about our minions living or dying. We're going to constantly, at every single time we power siphon or cast Stormbrand, it's going to uh, be raising more skeletons, raising more zombies, um, and, you know, running through that. So we don't have to worry about managing skeletons and zombies recreation. If we're worried about not having enough uh, corpses, you can run Akuna's Will for your corpses, which basically is going to give your uh, raised zombies don't require a corpse, and they count as corpses. So if we're running, if you do choose to run these claws, which I do recommend, they are pretty nice, um, because A, you also were running minion instability, so the increased life will be more damage on the backside. Um, if we're running these, uh, you could actually drop the Desecrate, because you can spirit offer off of these. And so that gives you another cast on your wands. Uh, or another option for a spot for your golems and stuff. At the moment I'm planning to put my golems in a um, ring slot. But we'll see how that plays out. I might tweak where some of these skills are. Um, possibly combine Raise Zombie Desecrate, drop the Shock Nova, and pick up or move my Val Skeletons over there and then use my other one for um, a few other things or I I'm playing with this where everything's gonna fall. Um, the nice thing is you could probably run Power Siphon for mapping and then on like Uber Elder and Shaper and stuff just swap Stormbrand in for Val Power Siphon instead and run that way. So, the tree. We're basically just grabbing life nodes, minion nodes, and as many jewel sockets as we can. Uh, attack speed is critical for the Hero to Agony because you want him attacking more times. Because the more times he attacks, the more times you'll get the mortar and the more times you'll get um, general attacks out. I've left this socket open because I'm not sure if I want to do uh, energy shield or life since I have so much flexibility in the gear yet. Uh, if I did energy shield, this would become energy from within to convert these and these to life nodes. <clears throat> Basically come up here so we can get an extra inspector, um, some more zombies and skeletons. Um, go ahead and just picking up the life so the specters and everything stay a little bit longer. Minion instability, so if they do die, not a problem getting them back up. Fearsome 4, so we get more damage, more area effect, uh, and um, more increased area if we used a minion skill. So that's really 20%. Some intelligence, um, some more life. Um, basically, we're picking up sacrifice just to keep them alive a little bit better. More resistance, that kind of stuff. If we get 93, I'll probably pick up leech just to keep them alive. Uh, minion attack and cast speed, spiritual command, this way um, attack speed and our minions affect us, and our minions get accuracy, pick up life. This uh, Severton really helps if we drop it, you'll notice our unreserved mana is only 2%, which means 24 mana. With the changes that they're mentioning in how mana potions are going to work, that might still be feasible for us to do, meaning the 2% mana. I'm feeling more comfortable running the 20% mana pool now, though, with some of the ring changes and amount of reduced mana costs we can get. Simple minion nodes here, more there, some life. Uh, come down through here to pick up um, some extra life, get Grave Pack, which is just more minion damage and the ability for them to do double damage. Life. And here's just another one, uh, and a little bit of extra mana uh, on the jewel socket there. 
So tree's pretty straightforward and simple. Um, there's some definite rooms for improvement. Uh, we could come in and pick minion damage here and attack speeds, uh, which you know increases our uh, DPS by another 263 some thousand. Um, pushes it to the level 97 though, so I will probably take this if I shift to energy shield because we're going to basically lose all of this and this in exchange for coming through here uh, in this territory and picking up this here. So it keeps our tree a little tighter. Um, we would probably shift a few sockets around um, as I decide which way I want to go. Uh, like I said, we'd probably come grab this socket and then this socket uh, if we're doing energy shield. Um, but we'll see how it plays out. Um, so, if you have any questions or comments, just leave them and I will get back to you as soon as I can. It's a pretty straightforward build. If we look at some of the other damage here, um, our Ray Spectres, 105,000. Our Zombies, we're going to have five of them doing 54,000 apiece, 55,000. So that's going to be 250,000 damage um, off of their default attacks. We'll have our Skeletons default attack, which is going to be seven of them at almost a uh, 100,000 DPS, so that'll be a, another 600 and some thousand DPS on top. Um, then we have the Herald, so lots and lots of options for damage, and like I said, none of these gems have quality applied to them. Uh, some of these Heralds do. I just kind of bumped a few. Let's see if we put 20 there and 20 there. Come back to... Agony, we can push it to 3.5 plus probably, I figure, another million out of the other DPS. So a 4 million DPS build that also has a uh, Val Summon Skeletons that are going to kind of nuke everything when we drop them. Because there are going to be 43 of them at 100 or 88,000 DPS. So that's going to be one heck of a nuke. And now that it's easier to run all this, I don't necessarily even need to kind of do these trigger psychic spells or skills when um, using this skill. I just like to automate it because I'm lazy when it comes to my minion builds. So um, anyways, we'll see how it goes. This is going to be what my minion league starter is going to be a wall of minions and a agony crawler designed to basically just destroy it. Um, and we'll see how it goes. Catch you guys later. Remember to like and subscribe. Thank you very much.